because it just goes straight into your soul and it takes you to the psychological prison that you hold yourself in. So it's, it's your own version of hell and I was definitely there. Talk about a strange trip. It's mind blowing. Megan Fox gets candid about drinking ayahuasca with Machine Gun Kelly in Costa Rica. It's hard to top that one, man. The Till Death actress appeared on Monday's Jimmy Kimmel Live with guest host Arsenio Hall and opened up about her quasi-spiritual journey in the Central American wilderness with her boyfriend after drinking the psychoactive tea used in ceremonial rituals as a spiritual medicine which BTW induces auditory and visual hallucinations. Do you guys know what ayahuasca is? Oh, yes! So we went, to, we went to Costa Rica to do ayahuasca like in a proper setting, like with indigenous people, and I was thinking it was like glamping or something like that, it's still gonna be like a, some kind of five-star experience, and you get there and you really are in the middle of the jungle and you don't get to eat after like 1 p.m., you have to walk a very far distance to get your water, you can't shower because they're in a drought. Nothing glamorous about it. It's all a part of sort of making you vulnerable so that you surrender to the experience. Megan recounted how the whole ceremony kicked off by having everyone in the group of 20 strangers empty the contents of their stomachs. You all line up at like the, the edge of the rainforest over this weird fence and you go three by three and you drink lemongrass tea until you like by n not your own volition, just vomit everything out of your body. So you so start- So you have to vomit, there's no way around that part. You can't get out of it, and you have to vomit a certain amount before they let you get back with everybody. So you're like cheering on everyone as they like throw up. Yeah, so Megan admitted that she and MGK had some reservations about throwing up in front of strangers at first, but added that it's quote, such a good bonding experience and it strips you of any vanity. People love it. And when it came to the ceremony itself, Megan said the experience lasted three nights and was, quote, incredibly intense. Everybody's journey is different. The second night, I went to, to hell for eternity. Um, yeah. And to just knowing eternity is um, like t torture in itself because there was no beginning, middle, or end. So you have like a real ego death. And Megan says the ayahuasca was able to help her in ways that therapy and hypnotherapy couldn't before it just goes straight into your soul and it takes you to the psychological prison that you hold yourself in. So it's, it's your own version of hell and I was definitely there. While Megan and Machine Gun Kelly's spiritual trip was private, they certainly haven't been shy about showcasing their love in public, sharing steamy smooches at high profile events and gushing over each other on social media. I think it's wonderful. A source told ET in June that the two are, quote, pretty inseparable at this point and are already planning their future together. Quote, as far as engagement goes, it is likely that this will happen sooner than later, and it has been a topic of conversation without question. And when ET caught up with Megan last month to chat about her new movie, Till Death, a flick about a woman who wakes up handcuffed to her dead husband after a romantic evening at their secluded lake house, the actress revealed what her man thought of her edgy role. He's an actor as well and an artist, so he likes to see the different facets of what, what I can do for work and like how I can push myself or, or be someone that I'm actually not and how good I can hopefully be, be at accomplishing that and selling that. And in 2020, Megan gushed to E.T. over what a talented actor MGK is while promoting Midnight in the Switchgrass, the flick they co-star in that also first sparked their real-life romance. I don't know if people understand what a good actor he is. He's yeah. so charismatic and he's so naturally gifted, which uh, is annoying because he's also <laughs> a brilliant, creative genius as a musician. So then for him to show up on set and just be so much better than you at what you do for a living, <laughs> It's really um, annoying. How do you see past it being annoying then? What drew you to it instead of made you hate it? <laughs> I'm a tall, blonde, gorgeous <laughs> <Okay>. supermodel. <laughs>